Did Robin make an appearance in the Batman without anyone noticing? Well, yes and no. Keep watching to find out how the boy Wonder appeared alongside Robert Pattinson's Dark Knight in the Batman. After long production delays due to COVID-19, the Batman is finally here. The latest story told on screen featuring one of DC Comics' most famous characters is helmed by director Matt Reeves. Previously known for his work on Dawn of the Planets of the Apes, War for the Planets of the Apes, and Cloverfield. After Ben Affleck decided to step away from playing the caped crusader, Reeves stepped up to tell a new Batman story with Pattinson. The Batman also features a plot with the main antagonist being the Riddler played by Paul Dano, a character we haven't seen in live action since Corey Michael Smith played the role on Gotham. Before that, there was 1995's Batman Forever with Jim Carrey playing a highly charismatic, obsessive, and very campy version of the classic Batman villain. Dano's version is incredibly dark, violent, and vengeful. Although both Batman Forever and the Batman feature the Riddler as one of their main antagonists, there are pretty vast and obvious differences between both films. For one, there is a massively important character missing from the Batman that was featured in 1995, Robin. Although nothing is really ever hinted about Dick Grayson or Robin during the Batman, an actor who had previously played one of the Robins in live action appeared very early on in the movie, and you might have missed him in his big scene. While the opening to the Batman starts off by introducing us to a very demented and creepy Riddler, it isn't long before moviegoers are hit with a narration from Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne. It's Halloween night and Gotham City is celebrating, but as Bruce notes, crime still runs rampant. Gotham City Police Department Lieutenant James Gordon, played by Jeffrey Wright, lights up the bat signal, and we see common criminals on the streets start to get scared, feeling fearful that somewhere nearby, Batman could be hiding in the shadows. The film cuts to the subway where a few face-painted men are huddling around watching a video they took of themselves assaulting someone for fun, although the youngest in the group seems to be uncomfortable with it. Without much dialogue, the youngest is told by the leader of the group to pursue and attack another person on the subway with them, and as they do, they're confronted by Batman. As seen in the first trailer for the film, Batman beats the leader and utters an iconic line that plays an important role throughout the actual film. I'm vengeance. The rest of the group, except for the young kid, proceed to attack Batman and fail. He and Batman share a look, where the kid seems simultaneously relieved that Batman showed up and also amazed by what he sees, and then he runs off. This kid happens to be played by actor Jay Lycurgo. In the credits, the kid is referred to simply as Train Gang Young Member but he actually plays a character who's known as DC Comics Robin in another project. If you're a DC fan, you probably saw Jay Lucurgo playing Tim Drake in Season 3 of Titans before his quick part in The Batman. The HBO Max show actually centers around being Robin in general, as the first season introduces fans to the original Robin, Dick Grayson, who's played on the show by Brenton Thwaites. The series covers his journey to step out from being under the shadow cast by Batman and become his own hero, Nightwing. Soon after, we are introduced to Curran Walters' Jason Todd, and in Season 3, we are introduced to Tim Drake, an intelligent young man who figures out on his own that Nightwing is Dick Grayson. Robin was, prior to his death, Jason Todd, and that Bruce Wayne is Batman. During Season 3, like Kurgo's Tim goes through quite the transformative experience, as he is at one point shot by Scarecrow, played by Vincent Kartizer, and nearly dies. During the finale of Season 3, we see that Tim is accepted by the Titans and leaves with Dick and most of the team to San Francisco and the Titans Tower once more. Lycurgo is set to return as a recurring character in Season 4 of the show, which has already started production. It's likely Tim's training from Dick or Bruce might be a focus in the show's plot moving forward. It's impossible to know whether we will see Lycurgo again in possible sequels to The Batman. It seems unlikely that the actor would play two different Robins in two different live-action universes. Then again, we do have three different actors set to play three different big-screen versions of Batman in the same year. So anything's possible. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Batman are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.